What is up guys, Minibean75 here, and today I'm back with another build in my Minecraft amusement park. This, guys, is going to be a go-kart track, and this is, I'm going to call it an underwater go-kart track, because it's literally a go-kart track that goes underwater. It's super awesome, I can't wait to show you guys every part of this build. I'm going to quit rambling, let's take a look at it. All right, guys, so before we get too far into the actual uh, track itself, I do want to just take a look at everything that's over here. So obviously, as uh, the people who have been watching this for a while know, I've already got a kind of a water area over there where I've got like a log ride, a lazy river, some different water slides, and a working wave pool. And I figured that's cool, but I feel like I need a little bit more water stuff to really tie the entire park together. So I decided to make a little something, something over here. So what I did was um, I made a big pool and uh, like on one side of the pool where it's more shallow, let me get up here a little bit. We've got some uh, different basketball hoops. You know, I, I don't know if you guys haven't played basketball in a pool. It's super fun. Um, so yeah, we've got that there. We've got some lily, uh, lily pads set up here just for people to kind of try to do the little, op you know, jump from one side to the other, yada, yada. It's just stuff for the kids. And then in this deep area here underneath, as you can see, we've got this really badass looking tunnel where the people on the go-kart track at one point will actually go underneath the pool. So the people that would be down here underwater swimming could actually swim down here and watch people ride by on go-karts and the people inside could look out and see all the people in the pool having fun. I thought it was a really, really creative idea, so I wanted to do it. Um, if we look over on the deep end, basically what we've got over here, we've got a couple diving boards and then a couple little water slides. The water slides don't didn't turn out as cool as I wanted them to. Um, but for just little tiny slides at the edge of a pool, I think they look sweet. If we move over here, this area is actually just going to be a little kiddie pool. It didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to. Minecraft apparently has this weird glitch going on with half slabs right now, where some certain ones, the, the top texture, won't look how it's supposed to look. Um, so it, it's very similar, kind of why over here there's certain spots that are blank. It was the same thing. Be, the, the water would be a different color, or there'd be like a weird texture on top of it. So I just ended up having to do the kiddie pool like this. In reality, I wanted the, almost the entire kiddie pool to be these half slabs because in you know at most water parks or anything like that, the, the kiddie pool area is very, very shallow, obviously, because it's little kids. You can't have them in deep, deep water. Um, so maybe if they ever fix that before I officially finish the build, I may go in and kind of fix this up a little bit to how I initially wanted it to look. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But with this, we've got in, we've got the different beds in there, we've got a bunch of different umbrellas, and then over here, this area is just, it's going to be a bunch of different tables and stuff, and this is actually going to be a food area, like a concession stand. I didn't build the inside of that yet, because at some point when I'm finished with all the rides, I will be going through and putting in all of the different food stands, souvenirs, all that stuff. So that one I left blank for right now. All right. I think that's everything up on the surface. Let's pop over there and we're going to take a look at the actual go-kart track itself. All right, so we're at the uh, the start or the entrance of the go-kart tracks. Obviously, this is where the line would be. That's going to be your exit line there. And the startup is going to be very similar to any of the other two go-kart tracks that I've done in the past. So let's go over here. We're going to pop on old red just because red's my favorite color. We got to open that, and then just for safety, we're going to close that. Don't want any of the horses to get out. And now, I'm probably just going to throw on a little bit of music while I uh, ride around the track just to give you guys a cool idea of how it looks. So I will be right back.
go, guys. Let me just get my horse back in here. And that is going to be the underwater go-kart track. I think it looks awesome. I'm definitely curious to know what you guys think about it. Um, obviously, like I said before, I've got two other go-kart tracks on the other side of the park. And I really just felt like, you know, I was debating on these last few areas what I want to do with the last few rides before I finish this thing. And I was like, you know what? This is a perfect area to do one more big go-kart track. It's de definitely the biggest of the three that I've done. Um, but this one, I found it to be so cool. I love, I absolutely love the tunnel under the water. I love the lights. I love that, you know, anywhere you are, even if you're just sitting on the edge, I mean, you could still see them ride through. It's, I think it's absolutely awesome. And I really think it's one of those things that I think will help end up setting this thing apart once I have it completely finished and everybody can download it and get to experience it. So with all that being said, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. It helps me out tremendously. And then uh, if you have any other cool ideas for the amusement park um, before I put in the last few rides I have planned, definitely let me know down in the comments. Aside from that, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.